Hey, hello guys. This is Manav Gupta here with another video, and today we are with Cyanogen 14.1, which is not good version 7.1. So here is the room that we are reviewing today, which is Android 7.1, and this is the 15th November build we are reviewing, and this build by Abhishek. <laughs> So the first question everyone asked is about the battery backup. Now let's quickly go to the battery section and see. Here you can see there is around 5 hours epoxy left and 16% battery is remaining. You can see the usage is quite high. So here you can see the screen on time is 5 hours 16 minutes and I have been on LTE all the time thanks to Geo 4G. So the screen on time is quite impressive. Further you can see the phone has been idle for one day 13 minutes which is quite good. So we can see the performance of battery on this room is quite good. Here you can see the signal strength, awake screen on, camera and other stuff. Now this cap I will talk about it later. And let's go to the other features of this ROM. This is a Cyanogen based ROM so you get all those basic features like status bar, this basic things we have, adaptive brightness which is ok, live display. So I will talk about this later. Yeah we have ambient display, expanded desktop, you can control the font size. LED notifications and all the basic features that any Cyanogen room offers. Further going to the storage settings, you can see the memory consumption on an average is 1.7 GB in which we have played games like Asphalt, Extreme, NFS, Mini Militia and other various stuff. So we have been browsing continuously. Facebook which is again a heavy app so we can see overall performance of this room is great and is working very smooth. Now let's go to the Ant2 benchmarking score which we performed yesterday after installing this ROM. So we can see the score is 74414 which is quite good without use of any custom kernel. I have been on stock kernel all the time battery backup on stock kernel is also good so you can see the overall performance of the ROM is smooth there were a few bugs that I faced like the flashlight tile which works rarely these bugs are already reported to the developer and we hope soon we will get an update fixing all these bugs further you can see the geo calling is working. So there was no so ever problem related to Volti. Now let's talk about camera. Here we are using the stock camera app only. So you can see camera is working and the flash is properly saying further coming to the rear camera you got this error I got this for the first time here you can see the front camera is also working but there was this error There is this bug in camera switching. Further coming to the video recording. So you can see the video recording is not working. So this was all about camera. You can see the camera is quite buggy. But for normal usage it is okay. Further there are few third party apps like Z camera which helps in improving the camera quality and those 
that post close bug is solved using that now let's quickly go to the gameplay which game should i play i'm not good at gaming so please bear me in this case now let's play this asphalt extreme Here we go. Quite irritating. Oops. Oops. So you can make it out that I'm not at all good at the game, eh? Especially a new game. This game I am playing for the first time. Do this. So the overall gaming performance was good. We can say that there were no lags faced on any of the games, heavy games like Asphalt and No Limits. So we can say the gaming performance was also very good. Not very good, but smooth. Now coming to the bugs section. First bug that we faced is this. Torchlight bug. So this doesn't work all the time. For making it work, you just have to do what is you have to remove this tile once and then insert it again. This made it work earlier. Let's see. No. Okay. So this torch is moody. It works sometimes and it doesn't the other. So this is one of the bugs. Now the other bug is the volt voltage is not working on sim two. This is due to the firmware issue. The voltage will not work on the sim two. So you have to keep the your geo sim in sim one slot. Now the third bug that we faced is. This deep sleep of the screen. So if you keep your phone overnight, like in my case, this gap you can see here is due to that. I don't know what was actually the issue, but this issue solved when I turned off live display, which you can do it by going into the display and checking live display to off. This worked for me. So the bug no longer exists. Now the fourth bug that we face is sometimes the package installer stops. So you need to navigate to the APK while going to the file manager, and you have to click on install it manually. This was a very rare bug that I faced personally. So we can say the ROM is very stable. Compared to other Cyanogen 14.1 builds, so the question arises: You should go for this ROM or not? Now, if you love stability and you are happy with Maya UI, I will recommend you to stay on Mi UI. Though I am not a big fan of Mi UI, the battery backup, camera performance, and all the stuff is very good in the case of Maya. Further, if you are using a device with Gore-Tex sensor or any newly purchased Redmi Note 3, then you will face a 
face very much problems on this rom compared to other roms compared to myo because the original sources that we have is not supported by the godex sensor and the new sensor that is coming in the newly built redmi note please so there you can face very much problems though there are fixes available but i will suggest you to stay on myo if you want stability now on other cases like if you are cyanogen lover and if you are happy with cyan cm13 official or unofficial builds or any other custom room i will definitely recommend you to use this custom room further i forgot to tell you that 3d touch is also working very fine whatever we call it like you can see up here so this is a feature of this cm14 point one rooms so if you love stability and if you want if you use a cam use the camera a lot i will recommend you to stay on myo and try this room after the camera bug is solved otherwise this is a very stable build and the best build of cm14.1 available for this device so i will definitely recommend all those cyanogen lovers and all those myo haters to definitely try this rom and enjoy the cyanogen 14.1 which is no good 7.1 experience on this piece so as of to the developer the links will be in the section below and the flashing instructions video is up already up and the link will be in the description below so you can check the flashing instructions if you want thank you for watching this video i hope you liked it and do drop your suggestions in the comment box below thank you